Hey Aries, welcome to Shared Sentience. Thank you guys so much for being here. I really appreciate it. So this is going to be your general mid-monthly reading uh, for the remainder of December. Anything you guys need is going to be in the description box down below. I do have personal readings open right now for a limited time only. They are $25. Uh, so if you guys are interested, all the details are at the very bottom of the description box. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and get started here for you Aries. Alright, what's going on here? We're going to do three cards and an overall energy, okay? And then I'll clarify with the tarot. So the overall energy here is card number 20, Imagine, okay? So I am going to pull the tarot here and then I will uh, talk about what I'm getting, okay? I think some of you guys could be waiting on some kind of justice uh, to take place here. Mm -hmm. Some of you, okay. I think for others of you, you've given up on it, but it's coming in. So the overall energy here with the tarot is the two of pentacles, okay? So I kind of feel you guys in this between phase here in the remainder of December, all right? I feel like there's something new that you want to start here, but um, it doesn't line up with what it is that you've always done or what it is that you've always wanted. Um, or maybe it doesn't line up with what it is that other people have always wanted uh, for you, okay? I think you're realigning your values with these cards showing up, you got the Two of Pentacles, the Fool, and the High Priestess. So like I said, with that Fool card, I feel like your guides are kind of lighting the way here with that sun up there in the corner for you to go for something, but I feel like you're a little hesitant. That's why this Two of Pentacles is the overall energy here. Um, because I feel like you have been very committed to some other kind of truth or some other kind of path here for quite a while. There's something here that maybe you feel or thought was meant for you, okay? So you're being shown something different now, and so it's hard to move away, okay? It's hard to move away, all right? But I feel you guys accepting that truth um yeah there's a little bit of chaotic energy here a little bit of confusion but i see that confusion clear up here seven of cups in reverse um yeah you're going for this all right so i think it's really all about figuring out how you want this to look okay um, because I feel like you, you're, you know that you're supposed to move away from something here, but you're not really sure where you're headed. Okay. So that's something that I'm feeling here. Um, it feels really watery. All right. So some of you guys can have a lot of water in your chart. You have card number 38 showing up here to be fair. So like I said, there's some kind of justice coming in here or some kind of justice you guys have been waiting on. Okay, because you got the Seven of Pentacles. That, to me, is a card of waiting. Um, also kind of looking at investments that you've been making so far. So, yeah, I feel like you guys are stopping to look around at things, figure out, you know, do I keep investing in this or do I move on to something different? Uh, with the Seven of Pentacles showing up, some of you guys might have uh, Saturn and Taurus, but I do feel like you guys have been experiencing delays or setbacks um, in a situation here, and I feel like it could be because you're, you're carrying too much or too many people or something of that nature here. All right. Uh, there's a lot of baggage when that Seven of Pentacles shows up, okay? But you've got the Tower here. So I feel like there's a sudden shift in energy, all right? Or a sudden burst of energy. Um, this is Scorpio and Aries. Uh, but I feel like you could be waiting on some kind of justice from some kind of ending here. Um, and I feel like that's coming in. You have the Four of Cups here, Moon and Cancer energy. So I do feel like you're unsatisfied overall with something here, okay? Um... Yeah, that's how I'm feeling this. You're unsatisfied with something, so you're moving on something different. You've got community here, card number eight. Uh, so this could be a friend circle. You know, uh, maybe you are surrounded by a lot of people who just kind of take from you. They don't really give anything back. Uh, that could be something here. But I also feel as if you guys have a support system, like I said in the beginning, uh, where the full card was showing up. Your guides are kind of lighting the way. They're kind of showing you something new to head towards here. So this could be a new tribe, you know, um, but I also feel as if this could be kind of leaving something behind and you're being asked to kind of lean on friends, family, something of that nature here because you have uh, the Nine of Cups showing up, Jupiter and Pisces. To me, those cups surrounding this figure here, you know, he's getting everything he wants, but I also feel as if this is something else that's, um, I feel like there's, there's some kind of vision here of something new that you want. Um, but you're not sure 
whether or not to head after it. But all of these cups surrounding him here are a support system, guides, angels, ancestors. So uh, that's what I feel is going on here uh, with that card. You have the four pentacles. So like I said, I feel like this involves kind of letting go of something. Uh, some of you guys, there could be some financial struggles here in the remainder of December with the four pentacles showing up. Sometimes that can be card of um, like pinching, pinching pennies. This is Sun and Capricorn energy, but I do feel like if that's the case, you will have some kind of help here. This is clarifying community, and you've got the Nine of Cups, so like I said, a support system, all right? Um, you know, maybe this is your chance to get help from, from your community, right, instead of helping them, because I feel like that's the energy you're in over here. Uh, you've got the King of Wands here as well, so I do think that some of you guys might have your eye on a Leo, or a Leo might have their eye on you, but overall... Um, I feel like there's something here that you're trying to push through, get through, here in the remainder of December. It feels a little bit chaotic, a little rocky, uh, but for the most part, it seems like it's just something you're having trouble letting go of, releasing, okay? Uh, this salamander here, uh, that can be a symbol of someone who can withstand fire, right? Um, so I feel like you guys have been burned here in a situation. And I think that's something you've struggled to move on from. You've got that Seven of Pentacles baggage. You've got that tower. You know, uh, some kind of ending. Something sudden happening. Something you didn't expect. you got that Four of Cups not really being satisfied. So, yeah. I feel like you've made certain investments here that you're not satisfied uh, with. All right. For some of you guys, there's something. Th these are past investments. This is past energy uh, that's kind of creeping up on you. And you're like, wow, I'm still carrying that. I'm still not over that. That could be something that's coming up here in the remainder of December. You've also got card number 47, Go the Distance. So like I said, there's something new here that you're supposed to be starting. Um, and you're, you're having trouble going for it, all right? Uh, some of you guys, this could involve a move. Um, it could involve something that's just very, very far out of your comfort zone, okay? Uh, because you've got the Nine of Wands here. Some of you might have your moon in Sagittarius, but there's something here that you just don't trust. Um, I don't feel like this is really an intuitive kind of thing. I feel like this is um, mostly just due to history. So this could be a new person coming in, like a new connection. Uh, again, it could be a new friend circle. All right, but I do feel like some of you could be kind of carrying that um, into carrying old energy into something new. All right, so there's a need to kind of close that out. You know, go the distance here with this uh, world card. I feel like some of you guys are kind of in between. You're kind of dancing in the doorway here, trying to be the old you and the new you at the same time. And I don't feel like that's really something that's going to work, okay? So I feel like you guys need to kind of uh, figure out what it is that you want here with this Imagine card kind of being the overall energy here. Um, and you've also got the Six of Cups, which is a card of walking away from the past. It is Sun and Scorpio energy. So I feel like there's something here that you guys are going to have to walk away from in order to get this hidden treasure back there. If you look at that X on the card. Um, so yeah, I feel like there's an energy here overall of indecision. Um, I want to clarify all of this for you guys, though. What's going on with the Seven of Pentacles? What's going on with the Seven of Pentacles? I really need to close this bin. It's like blowing my hair into my mouth. <laughs> What's going on with this Seven of Pentacles? Okay. Nine of Swords. Okay. So it's definitely something that's troubling you. Something that's been weighing on you here. Some of you could have Mars and Gemini. What's going on with the Tower here? Ten of Wands. Like I said, it's something you're still carrying with you. Um, and I do feel like for most of you, this is something from the past that maybe you're like, wow, I'm still not over this. <laughs> that's something that I feel could be coming up. What about this Four of Cups? Some of you guys, like, with this showing up to clarify, to be fair, like I said, some of you guys have been waiting on some kind of justice to come in here, some kind of clarity or truth, or maybe you're waiting on someone to get their karma, all right? And I feel like it's something you've just kind of been carrying with you, like it's going to happen eventually. They're going to tell me why this happened, or, you know, they're going to their relationship's going to fail, you know, whatever it is here that you're waiting on. I think that you're just getting exhausted with it. What's going on with the Four of Cups? Six of Pentacles, Taurus and Libra Energy. Um, so that one's interesting. I think that things are not as they appear. Sometimes when the sixes uh, show up, especially the six of pentacles, um, that can be kind of like a card of image. Uh, someone who looks good to others. I feel like some of you guys might be frustrated because you could have been dealing with an energy here that kind of looked... Um, it's like the energy of a saint is almost how I feel here. Um, so you could have been dealing with someone who wronged you that uh, it didn't really appear that way on the surface, all right? Um, so I also feel as if this is kind of about what you feed. I think that you guys are feeding um, a lot into past energy here when you could be feeding into something new. So that's what those two figures on the bottom represent there, figuring out what it is that you want to give to here. You want to stay stuck in this rut, at the trunk of this tree, you know, continuing to go to the root of this situation, figuring out... How can I get clarity on this? Or do you want to give yourself clarity and say, you know, it is what it is. It wasn't meant for me, so I'm going to move on. 
right? Um, so let's clarify everything that's under community here. <clears throat> What's going on with this Nine of Cups? Five of Wands, Saturn and Leo, 1010 10 on the camera. What's going on with this Four of Pentacles? You guys could uh, Google that number. See if that means anything to you. All right, you got the Hermit clarifying the Four of Pentacles. Virgo energy. And what's clarifying this King of Wands here? <clears throat> the Two of Cups. Cancerian energy. So I definitely feel like there's a new connection coming in here or just something that is a perfect match for you overall. This could even just be a new friendship. Um, it doesn't necessarily have to be a romantic partner, but I do feel like for the majority of you, there's someone new coming in here. Um, and it's kind of pushing you to close out something you've been holding on to for a long time, okay? Um, with this Five of Wands clarifying the Nine of Cups, that's an interesting energy to me because I feel like some of you guys are literally fighting off something you wished for, okay? Um, because it might look like something old to you, right? It might remind you of something old, all right? That's that's the vibe I'm picking up on here. You got this Nine of Cups energy. You've also got 1111 on the camera. You got this Nine of Wands energy over here in the other row. So like I said, it's something new. It's something you wish for, but you don't trust it, all right? It's almost like a energy of feeling like something is too good to be true, but it's not, okay? Also, feel like some of you guys could have people who want to help you here, especially with this Six of Pentacles being um, in this row over here. And maybe you guys are kind of fighting that off, being kind of stubborn here. Um, so I feel like if you need help, you need to accept the help that's coming in. It's available to you. You know, there should be no fighting it off here. I feel like someone is coming in here to offer you a cup. You got the 10 on the bottom. You got the 9 right here. Um, the Hermit, yeah. Like I said, your guides are lighting the way here. They're, they're telling you to let go of something. It's okay to release this. Uh, that's the message that I'm getting here with this Hermit clarifying the Four of Pentacles. All right? Could be a Virgo you're releasing for some of you. Uh, but the King of Wands clarifying that is this Two of Cups. Some of you might have Venus and Cancer, but there's some kind of exchange going on here. If you guys gave too much to connections or jobs or whatever this was in the past, um... You know, or if they gave too much to you, um, you know, that could be why you're in this energy of not wanting to accept help. Maybe you accepted help in the help in the past and it was kind of held over your head, you know. Uh, so that could be some a, a reason that you don't want to accept help. But I do feel like there could be help coming in uh, that's genuine, okay. So that's something you want to keep in mind here. Whatever this is that's coming in, it's genuine. Um, so that's what I'm feeling here with that. It could be a Leo for some of you, but, uh, when the Two of Cups shows up, that is harmony and balance. It's an equal exchange, all right? So, uh, there is no over-investing on either side, all right? Uh, nobody is giving something and silently hoping for something in return, you know what I mean? Uh, that's how that feels here to me. Maybe you dealt with energies in the past who gave you something and they expected something more or something different in return. Um, but it's almost like unspoken agreements that you were dealing with in the past here. It's something you don't want to have to go through again. All right, but I don't feel like that's what this is. Uh, clarifying, um, we're going to clarify the uh, Nine of Wands, the World, and the Six of Cups. Let's clarify these. Clarify the Nine of Wands, please. Clarify the Nine of Wands. The Ace of Pentacles, yeah, it's this new offer here that you don't trust. Could be from an Earth sign. Uh, could be a new job in general. Could be could involve a move, especially with the world showing up to clarify go the distance. Uh, what's clarifying the world here? What's the world about? Um, the Chariot, Cancerian energy. So, like I said, it could involve a move. Um, how about the Six of Cups? The Page of Cups. Uh, water, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, and the overall energy for the remainder of the reading is the King of Cups. So, you know, uh, this is Scorpionic energy. Like, th this is Pluto here. So, th like I said, there's something that you've buried, uh, and it's coming back up to the surface, and you're going to be trying to push it down, all right? But it's there's not going to be any room for that, all right? Especially if you want this new beginning that's available to you with that Four of Wands. Like I said, it's what you wish for. Don't push it away, okay? It's genuine. You know, this Nine of Wands here, clarifying that is that Ace of Pentacles. So that that's exactly what he's looking at here. But when the Ace of Pentacles shows up, that is an offer of long-term stability, okay? Uh, this could even be an offer of marriage, um, but it doesn't have to be, you know, right off the bat, of course. But I feel like it's something, if this is a commitment, it's something that can go the distance, all right? Um, I also feel like, like I said, this could be a job. It could involve a move. But overall, there's a victory here and stepping through this door and closing something out. Some of you might have some kind of fear that you're closing out something that's meant for you. You're making a mistake and leaving a situation, and that's not the case, all right? Um, it's been over for a long time. 
You just need to call it what it is, all right? And with this Six of Cups being here, you're being handed something new, but it could potentially slip away from you there with that Page of Cups showing up uh, if you're not careful, you know? Um, so that's what I'm feeling here for you. There's something that needs healing. It's something that's coming to the surface here. Honestly, feel like it's it's not just healing. It's kind of just letting go of resentment in general, um, which, yeah, technically is healing. Uh, but it's more like there, there needs to be a full-on release here. There needs to be acceptance that something is over, all right, before you can embrace some kind of new beginning that you've actually been wishing for and wanting, all right? So trust this, you guys. That's what I'm seeing for you. Um, I hope it was helpful, and I want to thank you so much for watching and supporting me, and you guys enjoy your holidays. Bye.